Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again. And finally, after a long, long, long time, Saturn has decided to enter Capricorn on 24th January 2020 in the sidereal zodiac. And today we shall discuss the effects of this transit on every ascendant. Many times people ask this question and this is one of the most frequently asked questions that should we see the, uh, the transits from the moon sign or from the ascendant? Well, you should see from both, first from the ascendant and then from the moon sign. The ascendant will give the physical manifestation and the moon sign will give us the mental disposition of accepting the results of the transits which manifests through the ascendant ultimately and this transit is a very important transit because this is happening after 20 29 30 years three decades because now saturn is very happy he is going to enter his own sign after 30 years almost so imagine you start going on a world tour you are in a particular place and you travel to every different continent, every different country, every different town and every different village. And then finally you come to your home. You come back after 30 years. How does it feel? Imagine that feeling which you get. Yes, that is the same feeling which Saturn will be getting when he enters the sign of Capricorn after three decades and what happens when you reach home after traveling the entire world you have a lot of experiences some very positive some not very positive but at the end you are much more wiser you are more capable of making better decisions that is the most important point because now you know where are your strengths and where are your weaknesses so therefore, whichever house a Saturn rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant, so Saturn rules two signs, as we know, Capricorn and Aquarius. So wherever the sign Capricorn and Aquarius, these two signs are falling, those two houses are ruled by Saturn. And whatever things these two houses uh, represents, these things, those significations will have come uh, to a very high level of maturity they would have reached that level of understanding that now you will never be confused you will always be having the remem remembrances of your past and you will be able to make the best decision because now you know where you were happy and where you were not so now it's the time to implement whatever you realized all right and this is a very important transit and saturn will be entering the four uh, the first pada of uttara sada nakshatra which is in sagittarius somewhere end of december 2019 and as soon as january comes 2020 saturn will enter the second pada of uttara sada from where capricorn zodiac sign starts all right so I have made a small uh, slide here where I have explained the different lordships, the ascendance and the placement of Saturn and the aspects where it aspects. And as usual, if you want to know what will happen regarding this transit, you cannot just analyze this transit. You have to analyze your dashas, Vedic astrologies, expertise is not through transits it is through dashas so when you were born you started with a particular dasha sequence for example venus mahadasha or sun mahadasha or mars mahadasha and currently you will be running a particular antar dasha and you will be running some pratyantar so ultimately depending on your mahadasha antar dasha and pratyantar dasha which is a part of Vimshotri, and you have different dasha systems like Narayan dasha, Chara dasha, you have Kendra Lagnadhari dasha, 
then you have so many dashas like mula dasha is also there so depending on the situation and depending on your spiritual awareness we have to decide uh, which dasha systems will give the most appropriate results i didn't say good or bad i said the most appropriate all right so the, that, that also depends on the chart which dasha system shall work and which dasha system shall not work okay so for that every individual's horoscope will matter because no two person will be running the same dasha in this entire universe because we may be uh, running venus mahadasha with other thousand people but our venus will be in a different sign in a different house in a different dignity in a different place in the navamsha and it will be conjunct different planets in the lagna and in the navamsha so no two people in this universe will have the same dashas and that is why everybody has a different horoscope and that is why everybody is a different human being there are no two same persons in this world everybody is different even though they may have similarities all right so now let us discuss on what saturn is saturn represents our ability to make the hard choices in life not the easy ones the hard choices yes those choices which give us fulfillment later on in the long run that is what saturn represents in in short and what's capricorn capricorn is the original 10th sign of the kalpurush kundli it represents the field of action of the 10th house which is hard work commitment discipline and structural work so therefore when saturn enters capricorn it is highly essential that uh, for us we try to see the houses which saturn rules and then we try to work in a disciplined and a structured and a committed manner because the difference between capricorn and aquarius aquarius is the mool trikon sign and libra is the exaltation sign for saturn the difference between capricorn and aquarius is that when you master yourself then only only then you master others so capricorn says you must master yourself first only then you can help others so many times people have this notion that oh we want to help others but the question is uh, are you sure you have helped yourself first if no then let's help ourselves first and then let us move towards helping others which is aquarius which is the 11th sign in the kalpurush kundli and as i said whatever will happen in your life will depend on your dashas and your individual horoscopes and therefore if you want a personalized detailed reading of your chart then i offer different consultations in my through my website you can find the link down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so let us now start and yes somebody had asked me that what about the nakshatra analysis well that i will make in a different uh, video as the nakshatras keep changing so for example i will make a video on saturn's transit to uttarashada very soon all right so you could see the videos in my channel you can type saturn uttarashada maybe you will find it after i launch this video when saturn enters in december 27th or 25th around that time yes to uttarashada so now let me share my screen and i hope you can see my screen now there you go i will just zoom this from here okay so we'll discuss in short about the different ascendants so i have, this is how i have made the uh, slide all right so let us discuss about aries ascendants first of all so for aries lagna saturn lords your 10th house and he lords your 11th house and he will be transiting in your 10th house and from there he shall aspect the 4th 7th and the 12th now the 10th and the 11th houses they are the most important houses in kaliuga in today's day and age because they represent a uh, career name fame and success 11th house represents success 
or wrong. So therefore, this is the best time for you to be disciplined towards your work because 10th house is that work which gives you a lot of name and fame. It's not necessarily the work which you do in your office or during your business hours. 10th house can represent any work which has the potential to give you a lot of name and fame. Now, what that could be? Well, that would depend on your horoscope. So suppose your uh, fifth lord is in the 10th house, as an example. So for Aries, the fifth lord is sun. Then it could happen that now is the time that you use your creativity, which is the fifth house, and try to open some online web shop where you provide services for your, uh, maybe you do some paintings. Maybe you uh, are very good at singing. Maybe you are very good at cooking. So these are the things which could give you a lot of name and fame. And that will depend on the Navamsha. What is that talent? So for example, uh, in your Navamsha Lagna or in the trines of Navamsha, if you have planets like Mars, it can mean cooking. Or if you have sun, it can mean uh, dancing. And if it's moon, it can mean singing. If there's Venus, it can mean painting. All right, so these are the things which can eventually give you name and fame if the fifth lord is not in the tenth. All right, so and then of course it will depend on the dashas. So, for example, if you are uh, running dashas of planets like Mercury and Venus, then you could use YouTube as a medium for um, propagating your business, for propagating your knowledge, your stuff. And doing things online becomes very important because Mercury is also your third lord. Okay, if you are running the Dasha of Mercury, of course. And if you are running the Dashas of planets like Jupiter, you might have to go to a foreign land to do that, or your clients may be foreigners because Jupiter in your chart rules the ninth and the twelfth. All right, so as I said, it depends on your Dashas. And of course, if it's Venus, then you might be doing some uh, work related to uh, perfumes or clothes or if the fourth house is involved, which means if you are in Moon Dasha, because Moon is your fourth law, then you might also be doing uh, work related to business or vehicles because Venus represents vehicles when it is connected to the fourth house. And if your dasha itself is of Saturn and Mars and then associated with the fourth house, then maybe you can do some business related to property, real estate or anything related to property or home or land. These are the things which you can do. And from the 10th house, it will aspect your fourth house. So now is a good time to not only just work, it is also a good time to relax and try to spend more time with your family members because fourth house represents your inner chambers so although this transit in the 10th house can make you very workaholic but it is also important that you spend reasonable amount of time with your mother and the seventh house is your spouse if you are married and if you are not then if you are planning to get married then this is a very good time it could happen that uh, by your career success it is now possible to find a spouse or get married these kind of things can happen by such aspects and also the 12th house so if your dasha is indicating uh, the 12th house by any means connected to the 10th house then you could go abroad for career purposes you could have international fame you could have international recognition success or you could also go to distant places for pilgrimage if the ninth house or Jupiter is involved. So that is how we should see this transit for Aries. Now let us discuss for Taurus. So for Taurus, Saturn rules your ninth and the tenth houses. For Taurus, Saturn is the yoke karak. Yoke karak means one who lords a kendra and a trikon simultaneously. And it is placed or it is transiting in your ninth house. And from there, he will aspect your third, sixth, and eleventh houses. All right. So, this is a very interesting transit because your Yoke Karak is transiting in your trine. 
this is a very phenomenal transit why do i say that because now it is literally like a raj yoga which is happening in your chart the lord of the 10th house is transiting in your 9th house well luckily it's also the 9th lord so double the benefit so now is the time that if you want to go for any higher education any thing related to masters or phd or it could also be bachelors now is the time that you try to implement those things and you will have to work hard because saturn originally rules your 9th house and after that you will realize that there's a lot of success which has come in your way so this is a fantastic time to get help of a mentor so if you're studying anything it can be medicine engineering art sociology psychology anything or astrology or anything now maybe it's a good time to hire a mentor because ninth house shows mentors so whatever you can learn in one year a mentor can tell that to you in less than a moment all right so a mentor can save long journeys all right so try to hire a mentor depending on your dashas and depending on your entire horoscope so for example if you are running a venus dasha then your mentor could be a female okay or if you are a female then your mentor could be a male or um your mentor could be uh, dealing with things like uh, beauty or you know makeup or fashion or arts drawing painting these are the things okay if you are running venus dasha and venus is also your lagna lord so this becomes very prominent so as an example i just said and if you are running the dasha of jupiter you know then um, as we know jupiter for taurus is uh, the eighth lord okay so therefore for you uh, if you are running jupiter dasha then it it could happen that you face some reversals initially and then later on you uh, get success when it comes to mentors or learning things for the purpose of your finances why do i say finances because saturn is your 10th lord also 10th lord controls the finances which come because of uh, name and fame that is why it's the house of career also and from there saturn aspects the third sixth and the eleventh so what is the third house third house is basically the house of social media writing so if you have any plans of writing a book now is a very good time because it could happen that from the ninth house you take the knowledge from the mentors and reading stuff publishing and then you write those things in a book and you publish it that's what third house is and then sixth house well six and nine connection whenever it's there it's a very good time to do spiritual practices more intensively it's a great time to have a lot of progress spiritually and the 11th house is also the house of money and wealth and gains and finances so now is a time when you can not only gain knowledge from a mentor you can also gain knowledge from your um, friends from your contacts your social circle all right they can help you to become more knowledgeable they can help you to gain more finances so now is the time when you should network properly with everybody okay so that is what is in store for taurus and ultimately it depends on your dasha of course and your chart now let's discuss for gemini for gemini saturn rules the 8th and the 9th and it is going to transit in your 8th house and from there it shall aspect the 2nd 5th and the 10th houses now 8 and 9 whenever they are connected they are very interesting because the 8th house is the house of hidden knowledge and the 9th house is the house of the of god and enlightenment so what does this mean it means that there's a lot of knowledge which you have in your background but you also need to understand that what to do with that knowledge ultimately so if you are in any kind of educational field this is the best time for you to go into research into depth of things 
and understand that life has many more secrets than you think you know so now is the time that you should fully try to understand the root cause of all things and everything that you see around right because the eighth house can tell you things which nobody even thought all inventions come from the eighth house so now is a very good time to invent something now is a very good time if your dasha is connected to the 10th house or the 11th house or the ascendant it could happen that you end up making some very big inventions or some very big new innovations which can give you a lot of name and fame or which can make you very creative if the 5th house is involved in your dasha so do not lose this opportunity now because this transit will again happen only after 30 years okay so after 30 years you may not get this opportunity which you have now and from there it aspects the second house so eight and second connection whenever it's there it can show wealth coming in from side of the family or in-laws or uh, it can also show unearned money so if your dashas are indicating the 11th house or the second house or the 10th house and the 8th house and if somehow Jupiter and Venus are linked then uh, you might get a lot of uh, legacy money or you know, if the 4th house is involved you can uh, get some property you may be surprised that some relative had uh, some property and somebody calls up and says oh that relative has decided to give this property to you and you are wondering how in the universe did this happen well this these kind of things can happen it's a good time to win lotteries as usual but be careful because we cannot always trust the eighth house in matters of lotteries because one out of thousand will win lotteries okay so if you have a very good dasha and you are running the period of benefits especially then only you should go for lotteries and such hidden things which does not guarantee you stuff okay so just don't go on um, filing for lotteries because just because i said okay use your intelligence properly take guidance from your astrologer who knows your horoscope and only then if that astrologer suggests that you should go for a lottery then you should go otherwise you should refrain from that and it is aspecting your fifth house and the tenth house okay for gemini so fifth house is the house of creativity and whenever the eighth and the fifth are linked then it can show uh, have um, finding love with somebody with a new person or in the third house is involved it can be somebody who you already know and fifth house can also show that there's a birth of children in your family and depending on the dashas it will be decided uh, or uh, you might if you are if you're a man then your wife might conceive you know or if you're a lady you are married then you might conceive so it, it will depend on your dashas what could happen and the 10th house of course so now is the time when you uh, apply your innovations to your career okay and get name and fame from your career so that's what is in store for gemini let us go to cancer now so for cancer saturn rules your seventh and the eighth houses and it is going to transit in the seventh from there it aspects your lagna the fourth and the ninth so cancer people seventh and eighth transiting in seventh well what is seventh house seventh house is directly opposite of the ascendant of the lagna seventh house is that house which can either make you or break you so that means seventh house represents anybody who is standing in front of you now whoever stands in front of you can stand for two reasons either they are supporting you hand in hand or they are opposing you so now is the time that you try to gain the support of other people and this is a very important transit for you why do i say that because saturn gets dig bali in the 10th in the seventh house okay and seventh house is also the original sign of libra where saturn gets exalted so this is a 
Mahapurush Yoga, which is occurring, Hansa uh, Shasha Mahapurush Yoga, which is occurring in your case, because Mahapurush Yogas occur when uh, will only occur if Saturn is transiting in the Kendra in own sign or exaltation. Okay, and Capricorn is already the own sign. So now is the best time for you to have everybody on your side. So imagine you had done something bad to somebody you know, 10 years, 20 years back. So now call up that person and apologize. Be humble. Saturn shows humility. So when you are humble, you will see that others are helping you to get things done. You will be surprised that how in the universe is everybody just simply helping me. Okay. So seventh house is also the house of marriage. So if you are if you are searching for a married partner, life partner, this is the best time to search for. And depending on the dashas, it will be decided what kind of a person you meet. Okay. So if the dasha itself is of Saturn, you could meet somebody who is elder to you. If it is of Rahu and Ketu, the person could be from a different background. And if it is Mercury, the person could be younger. And if you are already married, then it is a great time for you to uh, focus on your married life and your life partner because this transit will also happen only after 30 years. So if you are married recently or you are married 30, 40 years back, now is the time that you focus on deepening your connections because Saturn is also the 8th Lord. Okay, 8th Lord shows deepening of different connections. And from there it aspects the Lagna, the fourth and the ninth. So, whenever the lagna is associated, it's a very important event. So, this aspect related to the lagna is very significant because, as I said, seventh house is something which can either make you or break you. So, gain the support of everybody and support yourself, which is the lagna. Okay, listen to what others are telling. And when I say this, I don't mean that you just don't do anything yourself and just go on asking things to people. I'm not saying that. What I mean is that sometimes others can give you the best suggestions which you are searching because sometimes people may see that in front of them but still not seen. So now it is the best time for you to ask. People ask for help whenever it is required. And from there it aspects the fourth house which is also the house of learning. So learn from others, become a better individual. And the ninth house is also getting the aspect of Saturn. So ninth house shows higher guidance. So uh, if your dashas are related to the ninth house and the twelfth house and Jupiter, Venus are also coming, then you can go for uh, pilgrimages and you can go for secret uh, spiritual journeys. You know, because the eighth house is involved learning deeper knowledge. Yes, 8th Lord transiting the 7th is a great opportunity to learn deeper knowledge, aspecting the ninth, especially by being Saturn. So do tapasya, do fasting, do austerities, chant mantras, you know, read the scriptures. By that, uh, this transit of Saturn, which is, a, which is the uh, Mahapurush Yoga for the next three years, will be very, very, very beneficial for you. All right. So congratulations to Cancer. And now let us move on to the next group, which is Leo Lagna. So for Leo Lagna, this transit is happening on your sixth house. Saturn rules your sixth and seventh here. And Saturn will aspect the twelfth, third and the eighth. This is a very crucial transit for Leos. Why? <clears throat> because the sixth house is originally also the house of Saturn. Not for Leo, for anybody, because Saturn is the Karaka for the sixth house, is the significator. Okay. Therefore, whenever Saturn transits the sixth house, is the most amazing time for us to develop discipline, to improve our health. To improve those things without which we become very, very, very weak. Sixth house can give us a lot of power to do things ourselves. So therefore, sixth house can show daily routine. Mastering things which you need to do every day, irrespective of the fact you like them or you don't. So therefore, this transit of Saturn into your sixth house 
as the lord of the sixth and seventh can give you an opportunity to work with everybody else and also work in a way that you can help yourself and you can help others and because sixth house is related to job so if you are jobless and if you are searching for a job if your dashas are indicating the sixth house seventh uh, the tenth house or the second house or the eleventh house then it can happen that you find you can find another job if it is a planet like jupiter mercury or sun moon venus then uh, your job could be in a very big company in a multinational company if sun and moon are indicated then it could be a government company or government organization of course or anything related to the government and if uh, you, your planets like Saturn and Rahu and Ketu, the Dashas, which are signifying the 10th or the 6th, then it could happen that the company is a startup. It's uh, having a small base and you, know, you have to struggle a bit initially, but eventually you will find success. All right. So this transit of Saturn in 6th for Leos are very, this is a very important transit because any area of your life you need to check where am i lacking discipline is it in matters of education or matters of health or matters of my married life or my career or anything it can be maybe you want to write a book but you start and then you stop it why because you're not having the discipline to maintain it okay so that could be one reason so give up your laziness this during these three years sorry for the interruption and yes for leo as we discussed health is your most important asset during these three years so if you have some health issues which you have tried to sort out using traditional forms of medicine and it has not worked then you can also try for ayurveda you can also go for homeopathy these are different options you have for example, if your uh, sun is more strong in the chart, then you can try for allopathy. If Saturn is more strong in your chart, then you can try for Ayurveda and for homeopathy, it's moon. And if you have combinations of uh, Uranus or Neptune and you have Rahu Ketu, which is linked to sun and moon or the ascendant or the ascendant lord, then you can also try um, other alternative sources like you know reiki pranic healing these kind of things you can try and if mars is very prominent in your chart you can also go for martial arts learning if sun is associated with your ascendant or the ascendant lord then you can also uh, go for doing surya namaskar every day morning these are very essential things that you can do and you can also focus more on being in a right mood of competition which means you do not try to prove to others that you are better than them but you try to improve yourself every day by day right so they say the best competitor is uh, you yourself yesterday okay so try to uh, try to improve your yourself your life your health your schedule don't sleep for too long and try to sleep early and do things which you like in a discipline in a structured way sixth house shows structure right and from the sixth house uh, the twelfth house the third and the eighth has the aspect of saturn so twelfth house also shows sleep so it is essential that after you work hard you take the necessary sleep minimum seven hours or eight hours every day or at least six hours and then the third house third house is also the house of courage so now is the time that you show courage for things which you did not show once upon a time all right so please do that and also the eighth house is the house of diseases whenever the sixth and eighth are linked it shows diseases so now is the time that you can fight your diseases and you can overcome them by improving your lifestyle and having a better food, uh, better uh, by making better dietary choices. Okay, so visit the doctor, have a checkup of your 
blood pressure, your insulin levels and your bones especially because it's certain and whatever is required please do it okay so if you remain healthy you will live much long much much longer all right so that is from the side of leo's all right so now let us discuss virgo lagna people so for virgo saturn rules your fifth sixth and it will transit in your fifth house and from there it shall aspect the 11th second and the seventh house these three houses all right so what is the fifth house the fifth house is the house which is of the highest importance after the lagna lord because fifth house is the house of creativity fifth house as i said in one of my videos is the reason why you get up in the morning all right so if you feel that there is something which you always want to do in life and when i say do in life i don't mean uh, necessarily matter of your career it can be anything if it is related to your creativity or your spiritual life or it can be related to education it can be related to your love life or children or anything that you like basically anything that whenever you are uh, stressed or you are depressed what is that one thing which comes in your mind if that is something which you always want to do then now is the best time that you do those things because fifth house represents past life good deeds purva uh, janma punya as they say so the fifth house is a very important house because that will give you the motivation to go on in life in this life without anything else without money without any physical comforts it is that which keeps you going day after day month after month year after year so now is the time that you implement those ideas in a disciplined manner into your life why do i say that because saturn not only rules your fifth it also rules your sixth house and whenever sixth house is involved there is discipline which is involved so now you have to be very disciplined and very committed towards your creativity towards your interests in life and if you are married and if you are waiting for having children then this is a perfect time for you and the fifth house is also the house of children always so if you are having children already now is the time that you spend more time with them you spend time and you learn different things which nobody could teach you not your teachers not your parents no, not even your guru could teach you but maybe your uh, children can teach that to you in a very simple manner in a very simplistic way just like a child this happens depending on your dashas you will know when what is going to happen so for example if venus is associated uh with the fifth lord and you are running the dasha of venus especially then you can focus more on painting you can focus more on drawing arts creativity these kind of things if if it's mercury it could be public speaking okay if it is sun moon then you could get some opportunity from the government to speak somewhere or to do some uh, something related to law and rules and regulations and fifth house is also the house of promotions because it's the eighth from the tenth so now is a good time to get promotion and if you are single and if you want to find love then it's also a good time because fifth house is also the house of love and physical intimacy and if if it is linked to the eighth house of course physical intimacy is linked to the eighth and with the twelfth when the fifth house is somehow linked and eleventh house as we know is the house of gains and network circles so now network circles and other people your elders your elder brother elder sister the boss these people could help you in getting things then the second house is also the house of family your family members could be of a great support and the seventh house your spouse also could be of great support so take help of these three people your elders your 
your elder siblings i mean and your family members and your spouse they will help you all right so now let us go to libra ascendance so for libra saturn rules your fourth and the fifth and it is going to transit in the fourth house and from there it shall aspect the tenth house the first house which is the lagna and the sixth house so now because saturn is in kendra in own sign it is forming shasha mahapurush yoga so this is a fantastic placement to have for the next three years because now all the matters related to the fourth house and the fifth house will come to completion what is fourth house and the fifth house well whenever the fourth house and the fifth house are linked then it can show education or it can show knowledge about property it can show knowledge about vehicles so now it will all depend on your dasha so what what is your dasha indicating so if your dasha is indicating uh, things related to the fourth house and the ninth house then it could happen that you go to a foreign country if the 12th house is also linked for a, for your masters or for your phd or even for your bachelors if the third house is linked i have seen and now also if uh, you have certain plans for creativity to decorate your home to decorate your vehicles this is a very good time to implement them and also because saturn is your yoga karaka because it rules a uh, Kendra and Atrikon simultaneously. So, uh, so when the Yog Karak is transiting in the Kendra, it is literally like a Raj Yoga. Okay, apart from the fact that it's a Mahapurush Yoga also. So now, it is the best time for the next three years to implement your creativity, and you can also learn more about your creativity. Okay, so. If your dasha is indicating the tenth house, you can um, apply some of your skills creatively in your career field. So it doesn't only mean arts or drawing or painting or singing or dancing. Suppose you are an app developer, and then you can make some beautiful looking apps, and you can have these creative ideas by which you can improve your career. All right, so. these are different things which you can do and from there you can also uh, learn things from your with your mother the mother is very important good time for purchase of property and as i already said the 10th house is having the aspect of saturn so implement your creativity and your knowledge in your career then the lagna is involved so this will make you a better human being individually after all of this and 6th house is the house of discipline and commitment so you must have commitment and discipline in regards to whatever you do that's very important so now that's all for libra lagna so now let us go to scorpio lagna so for scorpio saturn rules your third and fourth and saturn is going to transit in your third house and from there he aspects the 9th the 12th and the 5th wow this is a very good time to go abroad to different a place to different countries third house can show short journeys so this is a great time to go and learn something from a place which is near by your hometown why do i say that because the fourth house is involved so it's not just like a travel with friends or just to do nothing basically okay or just to have fun it's not like that you could do that but because the fourth house is involved this involves a higher level of a learning experience okay so learning is very important during these three years and especially your younger siblings will occupy the focus this these three years because the third house represents younger siblings and uh, the fourth house also represents uh, your mother all right so your mother and the younger siblings will have a very important say in your life and because the ninth and the 12th houses are being aspected by saturn so 
could happen that you travel to a different place, a very long distance place, a very far away place, to a totally different uh, country where you have you have you you never even imagined to go. And if your dashas are indicated uh, indicative of educational houses like the fourth, fifth, ninth, and eleventh, then you will definitely go abroad uh, to a different country for masters or for PhD or for bachelors. And if it's indicating the tenth house, then you could have international fame, international recognition. And if it's like a uh, planet of creativity, uh, for example, Mercury or Venus, then it can show things uh, like writing a book or opening a YouTube channel, opening a new blog, third houses, all the IT, the entire IT sector is in the third house. So if you are planning to give some interviews, this is also a very good time. And if you want to sharpen your intelligence, because fifth house also has the aspect of Saturn. So it's a very good time to sharpen your intelligence. It's a very good time to uh, understand more about who you are inside internally as a person and then benefit from them. All right. So for Scorpio, it's a very important time because third house is the house of Parakram as they say. Now. So now when Saturn enters your third house, you can fully have the courage to do the things that finally uh, which you always wanted to do right so do not waste time for you the mantra is do not waste time do whatever it takes to be courageous and open new ventures new fronts open startups if you want and then by that elevate yourself and your life okay so now we will go to sagittarius sagittarius is Hosting Saturn till now, till Saturn moves into Cap Capricorn. So for Sagittarius, Saturn Lord second and the third, and it is going to move to your second house. And from there, it will aspect the eighth, the eleventh, and the fourth house. So now, what is basically the second house? Second house is the house of your accumulated wealth. Right? Second house is your total savings. Second house is the house of your family. Second house is anybody who feels like your family. So now is a good time for you to develop your connections with your family members. And third house can at times show relatives also. So bring your family together bring your extended family together have a great time together go out have fun chill go to different places because the eighth house has the aspect of saturn go to places where you have never gone save money try for multiple sources of income if mercury's dasha is there it's the best time for you to uh, get income from different sources which you never imagined okay so if you have a job then Try to get a better job, learn new things, or try to uh, get some passive sources of income, which necessarily does not pay all of your bills, but at least uh, gives a good contribution, or you can start at least, okay? And because third house is also lauded by Saturn, so now you can also gain money through uh, the third house which means writing or youtube through through giving consultations so it's a very good time for consulting others and by that you can elevate yourself your job profile or any area of interest you can get more knowledge and you can share your knowledge with others okay and the 11th house also has the aspect of saturn so now you should plan to do things in a big scale. You know? Don't think small, think big. That's the mantra for you. And the fourth house also has the aspect of Saturn. The fourth house is very important when it's linked to the third house. It, it, it can show success of uh, during interviews. Okay. So now if you are planning to uh, apply for that dream job in any uh, big multinational company then maybe now you can try to do that because that will increase your finances and you'll have a better job a better 
profile and you will also learn new things because the fourth house is involved all right or you can also delve into areas like research because the eighth house is also involved so the eighth house is a very important house when it comes with the fourth house all right so for sagittarius try to connect more with the family and try to bring some stability into your life if you are feeling that you are always running around doing so many things then now is the time that you try to ask yourself what is required at the end of the day if you need a better job then do it go for it apply give interviews if you feel that you should spend more time with the family then also you can do that second house also shows marriage so if you are finding uh, if you want to find a spouse then it's a great time for you to uh, look for a mar marriage partner and it can also show childbirth because second house also is childbirth because a child is an addition to the family. So if you are married and you want to have children, this is the best time to have. Now let us discuss for Capricorn. Capricorn, Saturn is going to be in your ascendant as the ascendant lord and the lord of the second aspecting the seventh tenth and the third that's the classic placement of saturn so because saturn is in kendra in own sign you will be enjoying sasha mahapurush yoga for the next three years it's an amazing time and lagna lord is returning to your lagna after three decades my god so imagine that which I said in the beginning, you go on a world tour and you suddenly come back. How does it feel? It feels great, right? So for Capricorn Ascendance, there's nothing to say. It's thumbs up, thumbs up and thumbs up. What does it mean when the Lagna Lord returns to the Lagna? It is like saying you are meeting yourself again. Because now you have traveled to all the different houses, 12 houses, you yourself, the Lagnesh. And now finally, you have understood where you are good at, what you are good at, and where you should not be, the things you should not be doing. What is the rate, what is the growth in which area in your life? Which areas you should improve? Which areas you should let go of which areas you should be detached okay these are also very important to understand because you just have to realize that you can have a better life from now itself in matters of anything career relationships health spirituality the only thing you have to do is you have to change your lifestyle because the lagna lord can show lifestyle also your habits because habits are the ones which you perform and habits ultimately become lifestyle so now is the time that you improve your lifestyle by improving your habits so try to get up early in the morning don't sleep too late don't sleep for um, very long also give up your laziness be more active be more productive be full of life and understand that now is the time that i can focus on myself not on my family not on my job on not on my spouse not on my children nobody but myself when i say myself i don't mean that be self-obsessed and only keep talking about yourself no i don't mean that when i say self it means that in due course of taking care of everybody else in this world we forget to take care of ourselves so now is the time that you set aside some time every weekend or every month or every day yes where you decide for yourself that no this is something which i will end up doing for myself and this is for my good because if i cannot be good myself how can i do good for anybody else or good to others yes so we have to take care of ourselves and now is the time that we will be doing that with the support of our family members because the second house is involved and the seventh house is our spouse anybody who is standing in front of us either opposing or supporting us so we have to take their opinion also into consideration the tenth house is the house of career 
so great time for putting your energies into career and also third house and sharing your knowledge with others all right so these are very important transits which are going on lagna lord is returning to your lagna capricorn congratulations and after this we shall discuss for aquarius all right let us discuss for aquarius lagna aquarius lagna saturn rules your lagna and it rules the 12th house and it will transit in your 12th house and from there it shall aspect the 6th, the 9th and the 2nd house. Alright, so your Lagna Lord is now returning to its own house. Okay, although it's not returning to the Lagna, but it is returning still to Capricorn, which is its own sign. And that goes to your 12th house. And Saturn is also your 12th Lord. So <clears throat> now is the time that you try to see that in the last decades what are the things that benefited you and what are the things that did not benefit you what are the things which you ultimately cherish in your life what are those i could say things or areas or places or people it can be anybody that you are very confident about yourself that you will do good with those people or in those areas so therefore, this transit will help you to finally make the right choices in life and especially to get rid of those things which do not serve you any longer. So therefore, it is important that now you focus on being more introspective. Try to learn yourself. Try to learn who you are. Try to listen to your inner voice. Twelfth house shows the inner voice. Because it aspects the ninth house, therefore, I could say that you could benefit a lot from going to some spiritual places. You could go for a pilgrimage if you're running the Dasha of Venus, especially. And if you're running the Dasha of Jupiter, you could also try to go and meet some Guru somewhere. You will have a lot of gains from the Gurus. And when I say gains, I don't mean uh, materialistic gains necessarily. I mean to say that. You will learn a lot of things. You will learn to let go of different things which do not serve you anymore. And because it aspects the sixth house, it is also suggesting here that you focus on your health and try to improve yourself because from the last two, three years, Saturn had been in your 11th house of gains. So, it could have happened that you had gained so many things but now it is also time that you not only just gain yourself but you also give things to others so 12th house is the house of charity when it is linked to the sixth house so it's a very wonderful time for you to do charity any kind of charity it could be financial or you could also do charity related to your time so you can give advice to somebody for free or any other form of charity you can give shelter to somebody in your home or you can feed others or give scholarships to others if it is possible for you or just help others or just go and sit and talk with others and let others express themselves to you so this is how you could benefit from this transit of saturn and because it also aspects the second house it is also a good time for you to focus on your family by trying to understand that ultimately whatever you have in life either it's material or spiritual or emotional psychological whatever it is you will only have value in your life if you have a family to share it with so now is a very good time for you to share your life your resources your knowledge your wisdom your wealth yourself basically with other members of your family and also try to learn different things from them you could also go on a spiritual trip with your family because the ninth and the twelfth houses are involved in this transit and by going you will become a better human being a better person and by that you will realize that after three years again, when Saturn enters Aquarius, 
it will enter your lagna finally again i mean after so so many decades so that time you will feel more powerful inside you will feel that after three years i have learned now finally what are the things that i should be sticking to and what are the things that i should get rid of all right so utilize this time properly and it might happen that you might have to let go of certain things which you like and which you don't want to give up but that's how this transit will help you by showing you the things which you should use for the future and the things which you should not right so that is my opinion about aquarius lagna people wish you all the best now let us go to pisces lagna people pisces lagna saturn rules your 11th house and your 12th house and it is going to come in the 11th house from there it aspects the fifth the eighth and the lagna the first house all right so saturn enters your 11th house the lord of the 11th is returning to the 11th house 11th house is the house of gains network circles prophets associates colleagues seniors anybody who uplifts you and elevates you and makes you more happier that's what the 11th house is therefore now to predict what will happen for you is very critical because that will exactly depend on what your dashas are so whatever your dasha is indicating gain of that is your destiny so for example if your dasha is signifying the second house or the seventh house then you could be married you could get married or if the dasha is indicating the second house fifth house or ninth house then you could um, have birth of a child if you are married yes if the dasha is connected to the fifth house and the eighth or the twelfth then you uh, and then if you are single you could uh, get into a love, love love relationship with somebody and if uh, you are into education sector and you you are running dashas of planets like uh, jupiter or mercury which is connected to your fourth house or ninth house or the fifth house also at times then you could prosper heavily in matters of education and last but not the least if you are thinking for a promotion or a right shift into some other new technology new domain if you are planning to apply for any interview or for that dream job then now is the best time you can do it and if you have sufficient income and you have the necessary vision which is required for building a startup or your own company or opening a joint venture or business or collaborative society then now is the best time in 30 years to do that because the 11th lord is coming back to the 11th house and as the 12th lord also it can give you some expenditure so it's a very good time for those people who are doing business because first you buy raw materials with some expenditure and then you uh, spend it all right so and also it's a great time to give donations to others apart from that from there it aspects the fifth house of creativity knowledge fun intelligence enlightenment mantras so it's a very good time for you to go to a spiritual community and learn to chant mantras try to do things together with others rather than just doing it alone and apart from that it also aspects the eighth house which is the house of um sudden income okay when it's connected to the 11th of course so it can show that you get money through some existing legacy sources or you know insurance or inheritance apart from that it can also show if the dashas are linked to the ninth house or the fourth house or the fifth house it can also show that you are very much interested in matters of occult on spiritual sciences and different other things like astrology numerology and you could want to go and join some group where they are doing these things together so it's a wonderful time for you to do that and ultimately 
from the 11th it aspects your ascendance therefore the aspect of saturn on onto your ascendant is also very important so 11th lord 12th lord aspecting the lagna it can make you very much conscious and cautious about your uh, income your finances and also about your expenses where are you saving money where are you spending too much unnecessarily so now is a very good time for doing investments if you are planning to because now is the right time for you to understand where you should invest and where you should not. So if you are planning to do financial investments then get a guide, get a coach, learn from somebody who has done it and by that you can be successful in the investing market in that domain and you can also plan your money with your family by deciding what goals you have you know, if you are planning to get married or if you are having children then saving for the education of your children and also saving for your child's marriage at times all right so that is for aquarius uh, for pisces lagna people and that's the end thank you very much and see you soon